In today's video, I want to show you how to replicate the Motorola double chop gesture for any Android device. If you have ever used a Motorola phone over the past few years, then you may know about a feature that allows you to shake the device to enable or disable the flashlight. It's become so popular that many people have become adverse to switch away to another OEM because they will miss this feature so much. Thankfully with Android, you don't need to stick with a phone from a single manufacturer if you want a feature like this. We can bring this over to any smartphone running Android 8 or higher. To begin, we simply need to download a free application from the Google Play Store called Shake Torch. This is from an Android developer named Roman. And while there may be other apps in the Play Store that offer a similar feature, this is the one that I'm seeing recommended the most. I'll link to this down in the video description below for those who want a fast way to find it. Once the app has been downloaded and installed, you can find the application icon in the app drawer or directly on your home screen. Let's open it up and look through the settings. We can see the feature is going to be enabled by default. So even if we don't mess with any options, the double chop gesture is going to work for you. But if you wanted to, you could go into the app and change some things like preventing the service from running in the background after the phone boots up. By default, this is going to be enabled. So even after you reboot the device, you will still be able to use the double chop gesture. We also have the ability to disable the vibration that is triggered when the phone detects the shake gesture has activated or deactivated the flashlight. There's an option to disable the shake detection feature if the phone has just received a phone call. Because on some devices, just the act of receiving a phone call has been known to activate this shake gesture. So this is something that you may notice if you own the Google Pixel 6 specifically, but this feature is here for anyone else who has experienced that same issue as well. We have the ability to set up a pause between when the phone will turn the torch on or off. This is disabled by default, but if we set it to something like five seconds, then the flashlight will not turn on or off for five seconds after it has already been turned on or off. If you end up keeping this app on your device, then it is recommended that you turn off the battery optimization feature for this specific app. This button right here makes it easier to find since you don't have to dig through the settings because if you don't disable this, then Android will end up killing the service in the background and then you won't be able to trigger the flashlight with a double chop gesture. The last thing we have here is a slider for you to change the sensitivity settings of the shake gesture detection feature. So if you notice that you have to shake your device really hard in order to toggle the torch, then it is recommended to slide this over to the less shaking side. I would do this one step at a time and then test. And then if you're still having trouble, try it another step. Alternatively, if you find that the flashlight is turning on and off when you're not actively trying to enable it with the shake gesture, then slide this over to the more shaking side. Again, I would do it one step at a time and see if you're still continuing to have that issue. 
Finally, I want to suggest that if you enjoy this application and you end up getting a lot of use out of it, then use this button here to donate to the developer. It's nice of them to offer their work for free to the community, and it's even nicer when they can get paid for their time and effort. So with this feature on, you can see that we can toggle the flashlight both on and off with simple double shake gestures, just like you would expect if you had a Motorola device. The Shake Torch application is a really simple way to replicate the Motorola double chop gesture on any Android device running version 8.0 and higher. So if you miss this feature because you switched away from Motorola, or maybe you would just like an easy way to toggle the flashlight on and off, then you should definitely give this application a try.